In this module, we will explore user sync in Pardot, or we call it Salesforce user sync. We'll get the in-depth understanding of how user management works in Salesforce. And now, as Pardot has come native to the Salesforce side as a Pardot Lightning app, how the user management also has come native to the Salesforce side. But before we proceed further, just to avoid any confusion and get the clarity clear, right? You should be having clarity that we have two, or you might come across two kind of Salesforce user sync or user sync in Pardot. One is this older user sync. Again, this is also a Salesforce user sync, we are calling it. And the Salesforce user sync latest. Now the big question, okay, both are user sync, how to differentiate whether this is a older user sync or a Salesforce user sync, latest one. So let's look into it. Once you'll be in your Pardot account and go to the connector and you'll edit it and then navigate to the Salesforce um, user sync section, right, you'll see something like this. So if first thing to recognize is if you see this manage user in Salesforce banner and get started, it means you're on older user sync. Second way to recognize is if you see the tick boxes available for Salesforce profile, then you're on older user sync. If you see these three options available, you are on older user sync. Now you have the way to recognize whether you are on older user sync or the latest Salesforce user sync. Now how to confirm whether you are on latest user sync. So once you are in your Product Lightning app, you click on Product Settings, you went to Connector, clicked on Edit, and then came to this User Sync tab. You might have observed the look and feel, right? Now you do not see the check boxes available for Salesforce profile, and neither these three profile at the bottom. If that's the case, it means you are on latest user sync. So that's the basic difference or kind of a way to figure out whether you're on latest user sync or older user sync. Interesting case. What if you haven't enabled yet? This could be interesting scenario, could be minimal for you, but yes, could be a case you haven't opted for Salesforce user sync. So if you haven't enabled the user sync, right? And if you could, if you could go to um, your product account, admin or product settings, and then uh, you know the user management. And once you click on the user, on the record user, you know page in Pardot, you'll see this button which is enable Salesforce user sync. Once you click on this, this will be a pop up, and there will be also a link to the implementation guide. When you configure anything in Pardot, it is very much important you are aligned with the best practice practices. Number two, you know the prerequisite and you know the expected behavior. So it's always good to click on this implementation guide and go through that, understand it, do the required, and then go with the next step. So at the very high level, this implementation guide will tell you at the very high level, right? If you are going ahead with the custom connector user, that connector user must be having per dot connector user permission set. If you are using the standard provided by per dot B2B MA integration user as an integration user, then B2B MA integration user must be having per dot integration permission set. Once you click on next, it will check I mean, this will automatically check by looking into your connector user whether your connector user has the required permission set or not. If yes, it's all good. You can click on next. It will come to this page. Now, this is very much important. You, important thing to note here is that this is the older user sync, 
because you see the check boxes available for Salesforce profile, right? We just now got to know about it or a way to recognize whether it's older user sync or latest Salesforce user sync. So make sure like what you need to do on this page is make sure like you ch selected these three. I would recommend if not, you can simply go through what has been written and then you can skip or kind of opt for any of these settings. Uh, which profile you want to sync with per dot. Important thing to note here is that you must select system administrator profile and map the system administrator profile with the administrator per dot rule. That is a must to have. At Otherwise, you may lock out of your per dot account and none has access to your per dot account and it will be very tough to regain the access you might need to reach out to Salesforce support and all. So what here we are doing is we are simply checking or confirming which user should be having access to per dot or who are those user you want to sync with per dot. Now, if you're checking, let's say, contract manager with marketing per dot rule, it means all the user with this per dot Salesforce profile will be syncing as with the Pardot marketing role in, in, in Pardot, right? So similarly, this is something like you can work with your Salesforce administrator even, or your marketing team, or your Pardot administrator to figure out which all user needed to sync with the Pardot. Again, it is not necessary, like you checked in the very first place, only needed thing is like you check the system administrator and later point of time you can come back and then you can check or uncheck things. So that was the process in case if your product account or you haven't opted or enable the user sync in your product account. Now our main focus will be on latest user sync or uh, Salesforce user sync. So when it comes to Salesforce user sync in Pardot, right? In the older user sync, we do not have much of flexibility. We can only map or manage or you know control the user management using profile and Pardot role. But now things have changed. We have given a lot more flexi flexibility. Now you can manage the user for Pardot using individual user record in Salesforce side. You can manage it using rules. You can do kind of assignment. You can uh, manage it using rules plus subordinates. These are the Salesforce native user management tool or feature and public group even. So what is happening is once you'll go to the Salesforce user sync in Salesforce side, right you'll see two section or two groups one is sales section and one is marketing section so if you're adding a user to a sales section or sales group it means all the user who is part of this group will be automatically having the sales role in Pardot and this cannot be changed it means you won't be having that flexibility to change the role to any other. For example, administrator, marketing, marketing manager. But if you're adding any user to the marketing user section, then you'll be having those flexibility. It means if you're adding a user to the marketing user section, you can map those users profile in Salesforce, in Pardot side, sorry, in Pardot side with any of the for default role available or if you have any custom role. That's the basic difference. An important thing to note here is that a user must not be part of both the group. And if you ask my recommendation, I if you do not have any rigid practice at your company or kind of if you're not very much cautious about the access and all, right? I would recommend adding user to this marketing user section because you'll be having flexibility and even a user who is part of this group, you can map those profile in Pardot 
with the sales rule right but if you wanted to utilize this which is not a bad option for all the sales wrap it will be easier for you even to manage the user in product I mean, in product user in Salesforce you can also use this way so let's look into it and let's try to see all those stuff in action so as we were discussing right so once you log into your product lightning app right and click on this setup or marketing setup you'll come to this page now just type in product account setup once you click on the product account setup it will take you to this page now you see this manage user button remember very much important if you if you are on the older user sync this configuration is not needed but if you are on the latest user sync this one where you do not have the checkbox available right then this is a must to have so what you need to do is click on this manage users button once you click on this it will take you to this page once you'll come here we were talking about this marketing user section and then sales user section right so as we were talking about marketing user will be having flexibility to have any of the role which are available in Pardot for example any default role or any custom role but if a user is part of the sales user section then that flexibility won't be available for them all the user part of this section will be having a sales role in Pardot right and one important thing we just now discussed is a user must not be part of these both the group a user should be either part of marketing user or sales user now once you click on this edit user assignment it will take you to this page right now again you know the difference between marketing user you know the difference between sales user right just add those user to under the selected member now if you want to do so that's the flexibility of the Salesforce or latest Salesforce user sync now you can either assign the individual record like this or you can switch to the roles and subordinate subordinates you can also try adding user using roles or you can also try adding user using public groups so that's the same flexibility you'll you'll get for the sales user as well and once you're done with this just click on save so that was the Salesforce user sync or the latest user sync and how you can do things and what are the what are the things which is kind of needed.